Hi, I'm Lars from All About Samsung and today we're gonna have a first unboxing of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10+. Plus. Samsung has announced the S10 in three versions. The S10e as the entry level version, the S10 as the regular version and the S10 Plus as a larger version of the S10. For Germany they made an odd decision, while the S10e and the S10 come in at least four regular colors like prism green, prism blue, prism black and prism white and the S10e also comes in canary or neon yellow. The S10 Plus doesn't. For the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, at least for Germany, Samsung decided only to bring the ceramic edition, which is a even higher edition of the S10 Plus. The ceramic edition includes two colors, ceramic white and ceramic black. Here I got the S10 Plus in its ceramic white edition with 512 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of memory and today we're gonna have an unboxing and a first setup and we're gonna see what's in the box of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's go! On the front you do have a big S10 Plus logo, if you turn it around it reads OLS Plus anyway. On the left side there is another Samsung Galaxy S10 writing, on the right side there is nothing, on the top there is nothing and on the bottom there are just the e-mice and other information. What's interesting is on the back, because on the back you can read which version of the Galaxy S10 Plus I got here, which is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in its 512 gigabyte version. In some markets there is a 128 gigabyte version and in some markets there is also a version with one terabyte of storage available. Here I got the medium sized one with 512 gigabyte of storage. Anyway, the device features have a 6.4 inch full rectangle screen or if you take respect of the rounded corners a 6.3 inch quad HD plus dynamic AMOLED screen with a resolution of 3040 by 1440 pixels, a super speed dual pixel 12 megapixel OES camera with a changeable aperture of f1.5 or f2.4, that's basically the same camera as on the S9 Plus with some changes, an ultra wide lens with 16 megapixels and f2.2 and a zoom lens with 12 megapixel and an optical image stabilization. On the front you have dual pixels and 10 megapixels. So this is quite a decent front camera with an f aperture of f1.9 and you do have a second lens as we are talking about the S10 Plus with 8 megapixels and an aperture of f2.2. This is basically for depth sensor. And you do have an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which is placed in the display. You have 512 gigabytes of memory and 8 gigabytes of RAM, stereo speakers and earphones, sound by AKG, so they're originally by AKG. You do have wireless power share, I'll come to that later, and wireless charging, and you have IP68 rating, which means the device is water and dust resistant. So that's it about the box, now let's have an unboxing. So first you have to turn around the box and then you're gonna see that it's a European SIM card only version here, which is the Samsung regional lock. So you have to use it on a European network for five minutes and then you can use the S10 wherever you want worldwide. And then you're gonna open up the box and there you're gonna see what's included in the box. First thing you're gonna notice is there are no more plastic foils wrapped around the accessories and that's an important thing. Samsung claims that they're trying to get rid of unnecessary plastic foils to save some environments and here uh, you see it clearly as the charging adapter as an example is not wrapped in foil. It's a matte or dull version of the charging adapter and if you take a closer look on the charging adapter you're gonna see that it's charging with 9 volt at 1.67 amp or 5 volt at 2 amp, which is the same adapters found on the S9 as an example, while the S10 itself should be able to charge faster than the S9. Then there is an OTG adapter found in the box, which connects USB Type-C to USB-A, so you're capable of connecting a regular USB cable. And then uh, you're gonna see that there's a box in the box, which contains and the USB cable, USB Type-C cable and there's also a USB Type-C to micro USB connector found in this little box. And again, there's no plastic foil wrapped around the USB cable. So it's a very basic thing. So Samsung is taking care of getting rid of plastic foils. Then there is the AKG headphone, which is this time produced by AKG. There's a little foil found on the headphone, but 
it's a very tiny foil, so it doesn't matter. And once you open up this little box, you're gonna see that it's a cord covered um, cable of uh, the headphones. And to me, the headphones are looking decent and I'm going to check them for the full review, of course. And there are also some additional ear tips found in the box. So again, no additional plastic foil. So this is everything included in the box, but still something's missing because uh, since now you don't have any quick start guide. So you have to look into the cover of the box and there you're gonna see a little additional box and in there there is uh, the quick start guide and some warranty information and on the back side there is this little uh, tool to open up your SIM card and micro SD card tray. And that's finally everything found in the box of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now to the device that matters. On the front you see a large screen, 6.4 inches and no additional screen cover. Well, if we take a closer look, you see that there is a screen cover. If we take a closer look to the front cam, you see that there are some edges. This is because there is a foil, a screen cover foil applied to the display from by default. So there is a cover on the display, you can get rid of it, but I would actually use it because it's not too bad. It fits perfectly on the screen. The front cam has two lenses, one 10 megapixel and a 8 megapixel sensor. The 10 megapixel one is the main camera with dual pixels and an aperture of f1.9, while the second lens is basically zoom lens for some depth information. And that's everything you can see on the front. So there's basically the speaker and a very tiny frame around the display and of course an edged screen and that's it. By the way, there's no notification LED found on the Samsung Galaxy S10+. Plus. If you turn the device around, you see on the right side the power button. And to me, the position of the power button is far beyond odd. It's, it's totally weird because it's not comfortable to use. Anyway, I don't get why Samsung is using it, but it's not too bad, you get used to it, but it's still not comfortable to use. On the left side, you do have the volume rocker and the Bixby button, which is this time able to be remapped. And on the bottom, you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack and the USB type C port and some speakers, which are decent. And you do have the earpiece as a second speaker. So you do have stereo speakers on the S10. And uh, on the top, you do, don't have anything but the SIM card tray you can use and the tool uh, delivered in the box and then you can pinch it in the hole over here and there you get the SIM card tray and you can use a SIM card or and a micro SD card or two SIM cards at once. And on the back, you see uh, the color, the ceramic white, which is kind of massive. You see the camera, uh, you see the logo, and you see a large Duos logo, and I don't like it at all. I don't see the point of using a Duos logo on the back of the S10, as there are only Duos versions coming to Germany, so I would get rid of this ugly logo. The camera itself has three cameras, this time an ultra wide angle lens, the main camera and the zoom lens, and then you have an LED and of course the heart rate sensor, and that's everything. So uh, if you want to have a close look on the design of the S10, just have a look in the full hands-on video or you can wait a bit and subscribe for the full review of the S10. Now we're gonna do a first setup. First you have to switch it on, of course. And there you're gonna see Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, secured by Nox, powered by Android. That's something Google demands to remind you that it's actually a Google-based operating system on the S10. And the first boot is actually quite fast because you do have the Exynos 9820 in here. In some other regions, you're gonna have the Snapdragon 855, which are both very fast SOCs. And then you can change the language of the device. First, you're gonna switch to the United States English. And, and there you go. And First, you can uh, get some additional information. I'm gonna skip that because I've read them before. Then you can choose how you wanna connect uh, the S10 Plus to your old smartphone, like wireless or by cable. Therefore, you got the USB TG connector uh, to connect it to your old device. I'm going to skip this for now. 
and then I could choose a Wi-Fi connection but I'm going to skip that as well I'm going to do that later on then you can set up the time I'm gonna skip that again and then you can read all your Google services uh, for this use I'm going to apply to all of them but you should actually check if you do need all of them and to give Google all your data and then you can choose how to protect your phone and this is something different because there's no iris scan found on the S10 plus there's only face recognition and fingerprints and the fingerprints are actually this time in a different way because there's no fingerprint reader on the back there's only a fingerprint reader found in the display of the S10 this time it's an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and it's basically measuring your 3D structure of your fingerprints with an ultrasonic scanner through the glass. That's a new technology and it's quite decent, but it takes it quite long to actually scan your finger for the first time. What Once it's done, the good thing is that you can use it even when your finger is wet, as an example, or very dry. And because it measures your fingerprint in whole 3D structure, it's way more secure than the visual option found on the Mate 20 Pro as an example. So this is a very decent version of a fingerprint scanner. And then we're going to skip the recommended apps and we could actually sign into our Samsung account. I won't skip all on this, but for now I'm going to skip that. And uh, then it's all done. Then I got my first set of, of the S10 on, and I am on the home screen of the S10. I'm going to switch off the sounds. I could now actually use the Samsung Smart Switch again to get all my data from my old device on the S10, but not for now. And um, I'm just going to explain some more details about the operating system. And once you're going to the left side, you're going to open up Bixby Home, which is a dedicated Bixby feed, which is quite decent now. But of course now, as I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi, it won't work. On the home screen, you can open up the app drawer by swiping up or swiping down. There are all your apps found on the S10. Some of them are included in some folders. Um, if you're swiping down the notification bar, you see all your quick toggles. Uh, there's some more useful than others. Actually, I do like the night mode because it saves you some battery by switching all pixels to black instead of very bright white. And uh, once you're swiping up and going to the settings, you're going to see that and there's Android 9.0 found on the Galaxy S10 Plus. So a new iteration of Android and also, oops, a bit too far. And also there's the One UI version 1.1 found on the S10. There are some other things found in here, like in the display menu, you can see the night mode. You can set up the screen mode, but only two screen modes are found. Uh, you can set up the screen resolution by default it's only 2280 by one uh, by 1080 pixels you can switch it to wqhd plus 3040 by 1440 pixels but it saves you some battery and you won't see a significant difference by choosing uh, full hd plus and um, then i would like to show you the camera because on the camera you're probably going to see a difference on the camera you do have now three modes, in, uh, like the normal mode, you have an ultra wide angle mode where you can see all this stuff around. So you have a viewing angle of 123 degrees, which is quite nice to use. And you have a double time zoom, which is not that good. It's actually not as good as the three times optical zoom on the Mate 20 Pro. An odd thing is that I don't have a night mode on the S10 Plus. Actually, I know that there are some devices out there with a night mode, with a dedicated night mode, but even in the settings menu, when going to the camera modes, I can't see the night mode as a own dedicated mode. So it's a bit odd that there is no night mode. It will switch to the night mode once you're holding very still in dark lights, but I would like to have a night mode in daylight conditions as well for superior HDR as an example. And in the camera, you can also change the settings. You don't have actually um, the 8K video, which was rumored before. You only have full uh, UHD video with 60 frames a second. And um, another thing is that you can go to the camera mode, front camera mode, and take notice of the little yeah, animation around the front camera. Saw that? It's quite nice. The front camera itself is a very decent. It's 
as far as I see the best front camera found on any smartphone at the moment. I really do like it because of the dual pixels and an aperture of f1.9 and the autofocus. So this is quite a superior front camera and it's actually quite nice to have videos with a resolution of 4K as well on the front. So you can switch it to UHD here. And a mode I really do like is the live photos mode with the color point. That's actually quite a nice feature to have a color popping out while the rest is um, just black and white and do, does have a vignette around the image. So that's actually quite a nice mode. And for now, I'd say that's enough about the camera and enough about the device. That was the first setup of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So this was the first unboxing and first setup of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I do like the device and there are many more videos about to come. An unboxing of the S10e, an unboxing of the regular Galaxy S10, a full review and many more videos about the Galaxy S10 series. So feel free to subscribe down there. For the moment, I'm Lars from All About Samsung. Thanks for watching. I hope the English wasn't too bad at all. See you the next time. Bye.